Bone Trauma. What? Oh god, my arm, my arm, what is happening? Boop. Oh, hello there. Well, let me use my handy dandy x ray machine and take a look. Boop. Well, it appears you fractured your humerus. A fracture is a crack or break in a bone that occurs when a bone is subject to extreme loads, sudden impacts, or stresses from unusual directions. In your case, the sudden impact of you hitting the ground after you tripped over that rock caused your humerus to break. This type of fracture is what's known as a transverse fracture, a fracture in which a bone shaft is broken across its long axis. How does a fracture heal? Well, Jorge, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to have my handy-dandy sidekick, Nurse Jenny, explain it to you. Boop! Hello, Jorge. Do -do 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 the first step has already occurred for you, Jorge. Immediately after a bone is fractured, extensive bleeding occurs. Over the next few hours, a large blood clot known as a fracture hematoma will develop. This closes off the injured blood vessels and leaves a fibrous meshwork in the area of the bone that has been damaged. This disruption in circulation kills osteocytes around the fracture and broadens the area affected. In adults like yourself, Jorge, the cells of the periosteum, the outer covering of bone, and the endosteum, an incomplete cellular layer that lines the inner surface of the central canal of bone, are both generally inactive. When a fracture occurs, however, the cells of the intact endosteum and periosteum undergo rapid cycles of cell division and these new cells migrate into the fracture zone. An external callus, which is an enlarged collar of cartilage and bone, forms and encircles the bone where the fracture occurred. An internal callus also forms within the medullary cavity of bone and between the broken ends of the bone shaft. At the center of the external callus, cells differentiate into chondroblasts and produce hyaline cartilage. At the edges of the, both the internal and external callus, Cells differentiate into osteoblasts and start connecting the bone fragments on both sides of the fracture. So once this happens, I'm good as new? Well, not exactly. At this point, the fracture is only temporarily stabilized. The osteoblasts eventually replace the central cartilage of the external callus with spongy bone. Eventually, both calluses form an extensive and continuous brace at the fracture site. Spongy bone unites the broken ends of bone and the surrounding area is reshaped as dead bone fragments are removed and replaced by new bone. Each end of the fracture is held firmly in place and can withstand normal stresses. This is the point where we would take the cast off your arm. So that is when the bone is good as new, right? Not yet. Osteoclasts and osteoblasts continue to remodel the area where the fracture occurred from anywhere between four months to a year. Once remodeling is complete, the bone of the calluses is gone, although the bone remains thicker and stronger at the site of the fracture. If you were to hurt your arm again, a fracture would more than likely occur at a different site than this one. Wow! I had no idea all of that was going on in someone's body after they broke a bone. Now, doctor, you said that my fracture was a transverse fracture. Does that mean that there are other types? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, there are. The two main categories are closed or simple fractures, which are completely internal and can only be seen on an x-ray like your fracture, while open fractures, on the other hand, project through the skin, which is dangerous due to the possibility of developing an infection or uncontrolled bleeding. My x-ray technician, Jill, can go into some of the more specific types of fractures with you. Poop! Hi, Jill! Dum -dum 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 -dum. Displaced fractures are fractures that produce new and abnormal bone arrangements, such as in this x-ray here. Spinal fractures, such as in this x-ray of the tibia, occur because of twisting stresses that spread along the length of the bone. Comminuted fractures, such as in this femur, shatter the affected area into a bunch of tiny bone fragments. Green stick fractures, such as the one of this radius, are when only one side of the shaft is broken and the other side is bent. Wow! I learned so much about fractures today. 
This is awesome! See, I told you this fracture wasn't so bad. Now let's get a cast on that humorous of yours. BAM! Okay, thanks, bye. Do 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 do. Bye! Fractures on three. One, two, three. Fractures! fractures.